have this video uh, about a little, what's called template that I made for something called typist. I don't know how to pronounce it. It's T-Y-P-S-T. Uh, the browser window that you can see in the middle here is um, for my, you can see at the top, the, the location. Um, it's video, so you can stop and type that in if you want. Um, so I've, I've just, I'm just learning this, I'm just learning. You can see as of yesterday, I'm learning this. Uh, and I've got four little, so four, yeah, four um, little templates. And I'm going to show you the memo one, which I think is, can, can encompass the others. And uh, maybe I'll just show you the code to begin with. Um, this is what the code looks like. You don't need to know this, but basically this is the, the template that's going to let me make a memo. And I can give a category, a title, and a date. These will go at the at the top in header and boldface. And a preface, and the preface is going to go in a somewhat smaller font. The main text, I need to fix this actually right here, I see. Um, so I'm giving the main text in times, but I'm stupidly still giving the main text in times Roman. So I'll, I'll, I'll change that. Um, OK, but as I say, you don't really need to see how that to know that how that works. Here's what I wanted to show you. In the top window, I've got a text editor for this is this is how you actually use it. And then the bottom is I'm using skim. I'm on a uh, Mac OS machine. I'm using something called skim to look at the PDF that gets created and skim updates automatically when the PDF gets updated. Unlike preview in in the Mac, which I I think used to get updated automatically, but doesn't seem to anymore. Okay, so you do some magic here. So first you say import uh, local, la la la. Um, I think you can do another thing that will import it from my GitHub page. But anyway, it's some sort of magic. I don't understand it. So uh, conf paren and all that. But the thing is, I think it's pretty simple to do. So category, I'm calling this one a memo. My title, beautiful day. The date is today. And then I have some sort of abstract. And then I have just a little description of what it's like here in, in Novella Cost, Nova Scotia, Canada today. Spectacularly beautiful autumn day. That's what it is. Um, OK, and you can see it in the bottom how it gets typeset. Um, now, I've got a purposeful error there. I think I want to say what's not to love. So, and so I'm in the NeoVim editor, and I just changed it. And then I typed colon W to write it. And you may have seen that the there was a flash of the screen because this updated. Um, I'm just going to change it. OK, so I'm finished adding I wonder. And I'm going to type colon W, so colon W, and then Enter. And you'll notice that very quickly, the thing down below updates. I mean, very quickly. That was like within a fraction of a second, I guess. What I'm finding is that. Um, this uh, typist thing will update typical memos, like actually a page of text, not just a few lines, in um, like, a, like a fraction of a second, uh, compared to the way I used to do it, which was to launch, um, to do, I did a lot of things in R Markdown format. So it means launching uh, R, not R Studio, but launching R and calling some function that cha changes, knitter function that changes it into a PDF. That seems to take up order in a test that I did the other day, like uh, several seconds compared to a couple of tenths of a second. So this is an order of magnitude faster. It's not very hard. Um, you can do things like this. So um, crisp air, star means um, bold face. So that's that. Uh, underline means italic. Uh, what else can you do? You can, I'll get rid of that. I can make an equation. And there's an equation. Paragraphs are like in Markdown. Um, you can number equations. There's a way you can set it up to number equations, which I haven't, I just haven't done here. You can number equations, so I'll say that truth. <laughs> You're social. Um, and wait a sec, truth at truth without numbering. OK, well, I'll skip that. I do, don't actually remember how you make it number equations. It's just something, just some command that you do somewhere. 
Um, so I'll get rid of that anyways. What else can I show you? Oh, bullets, of course. You can do bullets as dash I and then by maybe. Stupid, but we'll just do it. There's some bullets. Um, plus mix them into uh, you know enumerated things. Um, there's ways of putting doing figures as you can imagine. Um, the documentation for 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 um, this thing is really pretty good for, for typist. It's really pretty good. Um, and there's an awful lot that it can do. I have to say that I do find it. I'm just my fingers are so used to typing um, in in LaTeX uh, that I, I find it a little tricky. Like for an example, that's how you get alpha beta. And I'm really used to typing. But if I do that, you'll see. Ooh. Oh yeah, so you see it doesn't like it. Um, oh, I also have um, in my NeoVim, I've got it set up to do like language checking for, for that. And the way I do that is in that place, in that directory, I have this and I got it from someplace on the web. So that makes the previewing happen. And I also installed the uh, lazy Vim package called Typus, uh, LSP or LSP typist or something like that. That's all the setup that I did. Um, so, see, so I've covered just the basics of how you do stuff. That's the basics is stuff I'm highlighting here. That's how you we set up to use a particular template. I think um, if, if you were to kind of clone this, you could probably see how you could change that template into something that you like more. In particular, I feel that I will probably make it such that there might be something which is not going to work, so I'm not even going to run it, but um, maybe something like that. You can see it's giving, it knows that there is no such argument. <clears throat> NeoVM has looked in this thing in the first line, and it's realized there's no argument with that name. It's quite quite nice. And that's because I get the language server protocol working. Um, but I might set it up that it can take that font because right now um, I'm not sure that I like this font size that I'm using. Um, well, I think that's what I wanted to show you. Here's my summary statement. Many things that I used to do in our Markdown or in LaTeX, I think I'll start doing in Typist, mainly because I love the fact that it 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 it, it compiles something like. I don't know, a couple page long midterm tests that I might be writing. Hint, I am. <laughs> we'll just compile in a fraction of a second and not several seconds. Should that matter? No. Does it matter? Uh, yeah, it does. Happy autumn from Halifax. Take care. Thanks for watching.